And that's actually exactly a great question to ask. I think that where our problem is, the problem for the West, is that we say we are going to support Ukraine as long as it is necessary. That's not a winnable strategy. If we change our strategy saying that we are going to support Ukraine till its victory, and by victory I understand all those issues that um, are outlined in uh, President Zelensky's peace formula, that's regaining the control over the territory, also uh, getting those responsible for the war prosecuted and so on, sounds a bit too optimistic, sounds a bit unrealistic for now. But I think that if there would be a clear understanding here in the West that we must do whatever it takes to help Ukraine to win, then I would be certain that, yes, while well, the war is going to last, it's very difficult uh, to now break through the Russian defense lines because they were capable of building some truly good defenses. Still, I do believe that uh, the war is winnable and I still believe that we must change our thinking. And in that case, also some other things would, uh, let's say, be dis discussed in a bit different way. And yet, sir, I feel the language is perhaps moving in the opposite direction, going from we'll support Ukraine as long as it takes you're saying you want to see the change of language to until Ukraine gets victory. I'm hearing from even from the US administration the language changing to as long as we can. And given the fact that there is a very interesting situation with who's leading in the polls in the United States at the moment, with a potentially change of presidency, with potentially a scenario where Donald Trump comes back into the administration as well, that's going to look very tough for Ukraine. In the meantime, President Putin looks like he's playing a waiting game. Well... I think it's um, even worse because uh, all those voices who are saying that we probably should have some kind of political process, yeah. talks, discussions, they somehow don't hear what uh, Mr. Putin is saying. Mr. Putin is saying that he is ready to fight this war till the end. Uh, you know, contrary to our internal discussions, of course, it's great to be in democracy where you always discuss all the options and uh, all the decisions are open for criticism and debate. He's saying that, uh, and I read that he's actually questioning the statehood of Ukraine. And if he's uh, questioning the statehood of Ukraine, then the big question is, what's next? Yeah. So from that point of view, I do believe that the common sense will prevail regardless of all the political process, not only in the United States. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget also about many elections here in Europe, by the way, also European elections uh, in May, June. But uh, even with those discussions, even with some uncertainty, about the military aid in the United States or the financial aid here in the EU, it is important that we push and we do not uh, lose this kind of optimism. What about the reinvigoration of NATO as well? The, something we talked about in Riga um, well over a year ago is the importance of boosting the eastern flank, of boosting support for the Baltic nations and across the whole border with Russia as well. Are you concerned that actually NATO hasn't moved quickly enough and needs to do more? No, I would say that those decisions taken by NATO uh, in summits uh, of Madrid and also Vilnius, they are uh, currently being implemented. Uh, we see the increase of our allies, the number of troops in Latvia. Mm. In Latvia, it's led by Canada. Uh, well, we have our own homeworks, uh, by the way, uh, spending on defense uh, is increasing in Latvia. Our target is 3%. We know many homeworks we must do. We see that uh, allies take those responsibilities seriously. But having said that, I would say that we are very much concentrating on the military yeah. threat. There is also the hybrid threat. It's uh, more difficult to detect, uh, let's say, migration crisis created by Lukashenko on our borders or Russians actually pushing uh, migrants over the Finnish border. Uh, any kind of provocation, we have to be much more flexible in our thinking. Uh, preparing for military attack is definitely some uh, must we are uh, already doing. There are exercises, there is NATO planning. Some exercises are even reported almost like a NATO plans in, in the press. But I would say we have to equally be uh, serious about hybrid warfare, what migration, about, energy, uh, yeah. misinformation and so on. Um, there is an economic cost to this for Latvia, for Europe, for the world as well. 
given the state of fiscal deficits around the union, given the state of other priorities as well, including climate change, including digitization, including trying to compete with IRA in the United States. Can Europe's economy afford this extra cost and still remain competitive on a global basis? I do believe yes. Uh, let's, uh, let's not forget that for almost three decades, uh, Europe was not spending on defense yeah. almost at all. In many countries, it was uh, less than 1%. We were talking about increasing of defense spending for years. Uh, Europe was spending that amount of money elsewhere. I see that there is a bit now divide. There are more and more voices understanding that Europe must get serious mm -hmm. about defense. And not only about spending, also about uh, industrial yeah. capability. We see, especially Ukraine now shows that we are not even close to fulfilling our own promise of delivering one million artillery shells to Ukraine. It means that uh, it's not only about money, it's also about defense uh, industry, it's also about capabilities. In many countries, when you spend on defense, it's not uh, about capabilities, it's uh, almost like a social program. So those are things that I see many sound voices saying we must do. And of course, yes, uh, you are right, there are competing uh, priorities, but I think that uh, for many in Europe it should be crystal clear. If Putin wins, if there are tectonic shifts globally, then let's be frank, nobody is going to care about climate change. For sure.